Hey guys, my name is Pranathi and I'm a designer at Graphite. Today I'm really excited to show you some of the big updates that we've been working on in our Visual Studio Code extension. Since we initially released the extension a couple of months ago, we've been listening to your feedback, testing out new versions internally, and iterating a bunch on the design. We hope you like what we've done so far and we also can't wait to show you what's next. The first thing you'll notice when you update the extension is how much better we're using the space that VS Code gives us. As you can see, you can fit a lot more branches in this space here than you could before because each one takes up a lot less horizontal space. And we've also consolidated a lot of the CTAs by adding these little icons for opening PRs in Graphite, and the timestamps, and more. We cleaned up a lot of the buttons that used to show up horizontally and inline and made it so that even on extremely narrow screens, the VS Code extension is still extremely useful. One of the bigger changes we made is that instead of showing all of your changes in line with the branch that you have checked out, we've moved this all to the bottom panel here. By switching which branch I have focused on the visualization, I can quickly see at a glance what files have been changed to that branch and also quickly submit or check out that branch. Let's go ahead and make some changes and you'll see a little uncommitted changes node pop up. If I click my uncommitted changes, I can stage these files by checking the little box next to them and I can modify the current branch that I have checked out, or I can create a new branch entirely. To check out a branch, I can hover over any of the branches that I have and double click to check it out. To keep this video short, I'm gonna show you one more cool thing about this update. We've made the drag and drop to rebase experience a lot better by giving you this visual indicator to show where your branches will actually appear. Once you've found the right place for your branch, you can go ahead and let go and I can click the Move button to execute the rebase. In the past few days, we've already heard so much great feedback on the changes we've made, and we're continuing to work on polishing up the extension even more. Before I go, I'm going to hop into Figma to give you a little sneak peek of what we'll be working on in the next few weeks. We want to make it easier to see what's happening in a branch, so we're considering adding a way to view each branch by commit and even by version. We're also working on improving the UX of the track and get experience to show errors, define what pairing you want to track a branch on, so on and so forth. On a very similar vein, we want to make it a lot easier for you to get started with the extension, even if you're not that familiar with the Graphite CLI, by allowing you to install the CLI from the extension, initialize Graphite in a repository, authenticate the CLI, and a lot more. Finally, we want to make the VS Code extension feel as compact and familiar to use as possible, so we're continuing to iterate on the branching and file tree views visually based on everyone's awesome feedback. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Jacob, who has been the engineering brain behind the Graphite CLI and all of the awesome updates you see to the extension here. Both Jacob and I post a lot about what we're working on on Twitter, so I'll go ahead and link both of our profiles below, as well as a link to join the Graphite community Slack if you have any feedback that you'd like to give us. Thanks so much for watching, and happy holidays!